Are Korean athletes getting a little too cocky? What just happened at the Asian Games that has some people questioning? Yo, you know, our K-pop, our K-dramas, our K-movies is so dominant. Why wouldn't our K-sports be? Let's run the clips. Boom! Oh my gosh! Obviously, we are not referring to all Korean athletes. There were some amazing ones. They're doing quite well in the Asia Games. However, Andrew, we are referring to these three clips. One, the South Korean skater celebrates too early and he misses out on the gold. Number two, Andrew, uh, one of the top-ranked Korean tennis players loses to a Thai tennis player who I believe is ranked like 500 in Asia, and he throws a crazy tirade. And last but not least, Andrew, we're talking about a female South Korean judo person who just like slaps the hell out of the cosmos that girl and gets DQ'd. Yeah, and I think that these are all things that do happen in sports, but I think for all of them to happen at once, on one country's team, I think that it kind of stands out because I think other countries didn't have this problem. So that's why a lot of people are questioning being like, hey guys, you know, are, are Koreans too cocky right now? Why are you guys acting up? Why are you guys wiling now? What is it, the ego thing or not? So anyways, we're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to dive into the comment section. Again, we're not saying all Korean athletes are like this, but you know what? I guess it just stands out to people. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys right now. No, that is just because like the Chinese are jealous. The Chinese are <laughs> jealous of everything that we have. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. No, it's but possible. It's possible. I am not discounting that. I think that there. Uh, I think Chinese netizens can be jealous of South Korean success, but still be right in pointing out like acts of poor sportsmanship. Um, overall, David, obviously, like, I feel like that there's a lot of pressure on Korean athletes right now. And I kind of like, I'm empathetic to it because in a sense, you want to represent your country. Your country's hot right now. Everybody's consuming their culture. Probably all these other athletes probably have maybe watched and consumed some Korean material. Right, you're saying they're lining up or doing duel with somebody uh, a duel in a one-on-one -on -one sport and they're thinking in their head this person has listened to like 10,000 of yeah. my songs but I cannot even tell you one song from yeah. your country and, and you can't also you know shuck away the idea that like within Asia there is kind of a general Amer uh, country hierarchy and that Koreans probably rank themselves and maybe other people do would rank Koreans as pretty high up there. Oh, they might be number one for the first time in their history too. As far as like perception wise. Yeah, yeah. I would say that they're almost like at the peak of their country's perception possibly through like ever. Yeah, yeah, but I also want to note and that I think that as much as there are more glorious Koreans than ever, there's probably also more depressed Koreans. Right? Yeah. And a lot more Korean insecurities going on right now because they're super hot right now. So I guess I guess there's pros and cons and there's, it's a double-edged sword. But anyways, I mean, David, what, what do you think? Um, yeah, let's just get into the comments section. I mean, I think the first incident that we want to talk about is Jung Chul Wan, Andrew. He is the roller skater who celebrated about three feet too early and it allowed the Taiwanese guy to sneak his knee in there and actually take the gold from him, which actually means, Andrew, that Jung Chul Wan and his teammate... They got to go do military service. Yeah, man, he better go skate on over to basic training because he's going to be there for the next 18 months. And that sucks because it's almost like, but David, didn't something similar happen eight years ago at the Asia Games? Yeah, in 2015, there was a different race, but also involving roller skaters where the Korean athlete celebrated two to three feet too early as well. And he lost the gold also to Taiwan. Damn, history repeats itself. That's also probably... Also why he's extra embarrassed. Right. Because maybe it just happened. So he's just like, oh, damn. 
like again, we're gonna lose to the Taiwanese again by just celebrating too much. Hey man, something's going on in the roller skating department. Somebody gotta address <laughs> the early celebrations. Um, I guess leading on to the point number two, Andrew, the tennis tirade where the number four ranked player in Asia, I believe he lost to number 500, which is a Thai player, and he just goes crazy. Bro, he obliterates his racket in a way I've never seen before. I mean, to do this in Asia, I, all right, if he did this at the French Open or U.S. Open, obviously it would have been frowned upon. I still think people would have booed him. But to do it in Asia, where nobody in Asia behaves like this, it's kind of crazy. Right, right. I, I would say it would be viewed as poor form in the West, but extra, extra, super poor form in the East. I because mean, obviously in the West, uh, there are some players like John McEnroe that are famous for, you know, being a little bit destructive. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. The way he, he killed his racket on the ground was... Uh, was OD. Right. And then last but not least, I guess there was the judo slap. They got this girl DQ'd, and apparently she was headed for a bronze medal in the Asia Games, but she could not reach that uh, medal round due to this DQ. Damn, that's unfortunate. I don't know if that was because of Korean cockiness. It's not clear because it looks like she it was on accident. She was pretty apologetic about it. But regardless, I don't know, maybe she was over hype. Hey, man, she pulled out the E-Honda slap for real. I, for, for a second, I thought they were being sumos <laughs> instead of judo. I mean, Andrew, ultimately, is the stereotype that right now, like, Korea is coming up so hard that they might feel like they're the superior Asian, so they have a little bit of a bad attitude in certain, whether they're winning and they're celebrating too early or they're losing and then they, like, throw a tirade. That is sort of, to be fair, and by the way, guys, I'm not disagreeing at all. This is actually very similar attitude to Americans. Yeah. Like, when the Americans hosted the Atlanta Olympics in uh, 1996, I believe, there was crazy incidents. Like, there was American swimmers spitting in the other country's pools. The American track athletes, Andrew, I believe in the 800, he, like, turned around was like, come on, y'all too slow y'all too slow come on come on mm. you know what i mean so it's like i guess in a way Andrew, it's just a very american dominant we're number one attitude right yeah yeah and i think that um i, I guess our south koreans sort of like taking on a lot of traits of the americans including that dominant like some people want to say you know a hole or like dickhead sort of yeah attitude. man they're hot right now so i can see like, I could see what they're thinking in being extra cocky, although I don't agree with it, and it's unfortunate, but they are kind of like being the Americans amongst the Asians. Right, like, you know, yeah, right, uh, especially since this is the Asia Games and not actually, like, the Global Olympics, right? Right, right. Would people they, tend to be on, I'm not going to lie, Asians, when they're in the presence of, like, white and black people, they tend to be on a little bit more, like, uh, more introverted. Yeah. But when it's Asians, we're Asians, man... All bets are nah, off. Nah. They can get crazy. Nah, honestly, amongst other Asians is when the Asians get the most toxic, I would say, for sure. Because the rank, you just feel in yourself, and you're like, I could take on anybody. Right, right. Everybody's mongoloid, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> Everybody has to look up to me. I'm the best Asian. Me. You know? No, for sure. I mean, you see it even like, um, like, at, like Asian clubs in yeah. colleges, you know what yeah, I mean? They can yeah. get real toxic when they're having their, like, mini Olympic games. I guess, man... I could see it. I don't know if it is a cultural function, but I would imagine if you're just hot right now, Andrew, and you're killing it, you feel like the the soft power from the from the culture, it transfers over to every world. Mm. And you may feel some entitlement. And that entitlement, when things go downside for you, can manifest itself in a little bit of bad behavior. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying what they did was the worst, by the way. By the way, I do think that the Chinese netizens that are pointing it out, the bad behavior... They are valid because those incidents are very bad, but also they may be jealous of South Korea's success from being such a small country too. Yeah. Like I don't, I'm not going to like say that that's untrue or discount that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just think that my overall takeaway is like, man, uh, I guess it's interesting. I'm not sure how connected they are to Korea's come up. I think that this could happen in most countries. Obviously, you would ex not expect like a Thai person to react this crazy because Thai people generally are very nice and mild and, you know, try to be like, yeah, cup, cup, cup. You know, they're not like, they're not trying to be rageful, but I think Koreans already kind of had that reputation. The K-Rage. They, they say it amongst themselves. Yeah, they right? have that reputation of having K-Rage. So, of course, this just falls in line with it. So, anyway, you guys let us know in the comments down below, if you think it's connected to it, I, I think there's something there. But, again, I'm not sure. Hey, guys, like we said, not pointing it out for any particular reason. Totally, Chinese had their doping scandals with, like, crazy, you know what I mean? Like, government-led 
cheating with uh, steroids and stuff like that. Totally valid as well. I, I, I can already see the comments pouring in from South Korea right now. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, what is driving all this behavior or is it exaggerated or is it not? Let us know in the comments section below. We encourage the debate. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.